Hello, my name is Victor Dizerin. I'm a PhD student at the University of Limoges in France. And I will present our joint work with uh, Carlos Aguilar Melcor, Nicolas Aragon, Philippe Gabori, and Gilles Zemo, in which we present a new key encapsulation mechanism. Uh, based on rank metric uh, error correcting codes and it is called um, low rank parity check codes with multiple syndromes. In my talk I will give an introduction on code-based uh, cryptography and how our work inserts in the, uh, existing results. Then uh, I will uh, define low rank parity check codes and their application to cryptography. Uh, then I will present our uh, new crypto system, uh, LRPC MS. And finally, I will wrap up with some uh, perspectives. In coding theory, we equip the set of words with n coordinates in a finite field FQ with uh, a weight. And uh, we defined an error correcting code as uh, a subspace of dimension K of uh, FQ with N uh, coordinates. And the minimal distance of the code is defined as the smallest weight of the non zero vectors of the codes. You can define the code either by giving uh, what is called a generating matrix or by duality uh, by giving a parity check matrix which contains uh, vectors orthogonal to the code. The mostly used uh, metric in coding theory is the Hamming metric um, for which uh, a word uh, has a Hamming weight uh, which is the number of its non-zero coordinates. We can also define an object which, which is called the support, which is a set of indexes of non-zero coordinates. In this presentation, we will focus on a different metric, which is called the rank metric, where uh, the base field is now uh, FQM instead of FQ. So it is the extension of FQ of degree M. And in this uh, particular setting, uh, an element x, a word x with n coordinates in fqm can be unfolded against an fq basis of fqm into a matrix uh, with m rows and n columns. And we define the rank weight of the word as the rank of this matrix. So to give a, a short example, we will place ourselves in the field F8 uh, with the canonical basis 1 alpha alpha square. And for the example of a word with four coordinates uh, 1 alpha alpha square plus 1 alpha plus 1, uh, we've written uh, on the slide the unfold matrix of X. Uh, and we can immediately see that the rank weight of X is 3 which is different, uh, as you can notice, than uh, the Hamming metric, which would be four in that example. We can also define similarly the notion of support of a word in rank metric, which is the subspace uh, generated by all the FQ linear combinations of the coordinates. And whereas in Hamming metric, the Hamming weight was the cardinality of the support, now in rank metric, the rank weight is the dimension of the support. If we do cryptography with code, uh, with, with error correcting codes, we need difficult problems. Um, the difficult problem in coding theory is uh, the syndrome decoding problem parameterized with uh, parameters n, k, and target weight uh, w. Uh, for this problem, we are given a random parity check matrix and a syndrome uh, 
that is generated with an error of weight w and the objective is to uh, recover the coordinates of the errors so the syndrome decoding is for uh, the Hamming weight and uh, there is an equivalent for the rank metric which is called the rank uh, syndrome decoding There are several variations uh, possible in the design of uh, code-based crypto systems, uh, which give different flavors and different notions of uh, performance and uh, security. So we already uh, we've already seen that uh, we can uh, change the metric uh, between the Hamming metric or the rank metric or another metric uh, and we will see that we can also have the possibility to add a structure to the uh, to the objects and to design crypto system with or without uh, masking so uh, the structure uh, is uh, is a process uh, in which uh, you can reduce the size of your public key uh, and your ciphertext by adding uh, redundancy in uh, the objects. So uh, a typical example of structured codes is uh, the double circulant code, uh, which, is, uh, which consists of uh, two blocks of circulating matrix. And if you define a double circulant code, it's a code uh, of dimension n and of size 2n, but uh, you only need to store the first line uh, of the matrix to uh, define the code. So uh, as you can see here, you have a gain of a factor n on the size of this code. So uh, if you take this example uh, as it is, uh, it has some weaknesses, but you can refine the notion of uh, structure to find more complex structures which uh, has a gain on the public key but uh, has no uh, trivial attacks so the notion of structuration is uh, is quite uh, is quite common in post quantum cryptography so for lattice based cryptography uh, you add what is called a module or a ring structure uh, for hamming metric uh, it's called the quasi-cyclic structure, and for the rank codes, it is called the ideal structure. So most uh, crypto systems uh, add uh, some structures to their objects in order to improve the efficiency of the parameters. Uh, the problem with that approach is that uh, your uh, difficult problem uh, is not the pure syndrome decoding problem, but is uh, a structured version of this problem. So for the example of the rank metric, uh, you have to deal with the ideal rank syndrome uh, decoding problem, which cannot be reduced to uh, the original rank syndrome uh, decoding problem. So you have to assume the difficulty of this ideal problem. And uh, the problematic with the structure is that it can open uh, potential weaknesses in your crypto system. Apart from the structure, uh, we can also choose to design a crypto system with masking. Uh, so I will go very quickly uh, over the details here because it's, it is not the central point of our, uh, of our speech, but uh, uh, the a scheme which has masking uh, has a public key h prime which is a parity check matrix which is a masked version of a parity check matrix h uh, who allows for efficient decoding and uh, if you design uh, your crypto system like this uh, you will have to assume the difficulty of a distinguishing problem between the public key h prime and a random parity check uh, matrix on top of your uh, syndrome decoding problem which appears uh, when you do, when you send the cipher text so if you do masking you have an additional distinguishing problem in your security uh, reduction we've seen in the previous uh, slides that you have three uh, possibilities of variations in code-based crypto and uh, this leads to eight uh, 
possibilities. And uh, up to recently, uh, if we take the round two uh, candidates for the NIST uh, standardization post-quantum project, um, only five of these possibilities were uh, fulfilled. And uh, what we add with uh, this uh, paper is uh, an improvement on uh, a rank metric structured crypto system with masking. And we also uh, add uh, the unstructured version of uh, this scheme. And I will also I would also like to highlight uh, the recent results uh, more or less similar to ours uh, on the no masking side. Uh, which were published uh, recently on uh, archive. Now that I have presented um, code-based cryptography and how our works inserts in existing uh, results, I will present uh, an efficient class of codes, which is used in our uh, key encapsulation mechanism, which is called low rank parity check codes. We first need the definition of an homogeneous matrix, which is uh, a matrix whose coordinates are in a subspace, uh, an FQ subspace of dimension D. And a low rank parity check code, it's uh, a code who admits a parity check matrix, which is an homogeneous matrix of a small weight D where d is a small uh, integer. In that context, uh, the problem of syndrome decoding with an LRPC code is very easy because it was proven uh, in previous work that there exists a polynomial algorithms that decodes your syndrome um, with a decoding failure rate which is uh, bounded from above by the, by, the, by the formula printed on the slide. And the dominant term of this decoding failure rate is the first one. Uh, and you can immediately see that uh, in order to have an acceptable decoding failure rate, you need to have a value for n minus k, which is uh, greater than the product r times d. low rank parity check codes are really efficient for decoding and can be used in cryptography um, and i'm going to present uh, the principles of uh, lrpc cryptography uh, which are used for example in rollo uh, in rollo nist uh, candidate so for the key generation uh, your secret key is an ideal uh, low rank parity check uh, matrix of a small weight uh, d um, and uh, your public key is a masked version of this uh, parity check matrix, uh, given the systematic form of the matrix U. To encapsulate a shared secret, you choose uh, a support of error of a small dimension R, and uh, you pick a random error uh, with that support and you send uh, the cipher text to be the syndrome of this error with the parity check matrix uh, H. To decapsulate, uh, you can multiply uh, the cipher text by the first block of the secret matrix to recover the syndrome this time not with the matrix H but with the matrix U and then you can use the RSR algorithm to uh, find, uh, to recover the shared secret E. So with that idea, uh, you, uh, there is the Rollo1 uh, crypto system, uh, which has really uh, efficient parameters, but uh, the DFR is, uh, is, uh, is high. Uh, because of the of the formulas that I presented and the decoding failure rate formula that I presented in the previous slide. If you want to decrease the decoding failure rate up to the level of security, then you need to increase the parameters uh, as presented in the Rollo2 uh, parameters. 
So the objective of our new uh, crypto system uh, LRPC with multiple syndromes is uh, to uh, get the same level of DFR uh, than Rolo2, but with better parameters. So the idea be behind our crypto system um, is uh, the following. So the key generation does not change. Uh, the secret key is still uh, an LRPC matrix. But for the encapsulation of the secret E, uh, instead of sending one syndrome, we will send L versions of the syndrome with L random errors uh, of the same support E. And for the decapsulation, uh, so the receivers uh, can compute uh, the syndromes of all the splits of the ciphertext, uh, this time with the matrix U as uh, the parity check matrix. And the receiver can use the RSR algorithms with the multiple syndromes to find E. And uh, with that approach, uh, the LRPC decoding algorithms has several syndromes as inputs and its decoding failure rate is more controllable um, because uh, the parameter L is taken into account in the upper bound of the decoding failure rate. So uh, you can uh, have more competitive parameters uh, with this formula for the decoding failure rate. And if you want the details of uh, the proof of this proposition, uh, we invite you to read the dedicated section in our paper. So the approach of uh, using several syndromes to improve the decoding performance of the LRPC code uh, can also be seen as uh, what is called the decoding of an interleaved LRPC code and was also recently presented uh, in a paper by uh, Renner, uh, Yarkovitz, and Pretz. So with this new, uh, with this new method, um, we are able to present uh, an ideal LRPC-based uh, crypto systems, which has uh, more competitive parameters than Rollo2, but uh, with the same uh, security level and the same uh, decoding failure rate uh, level. So as you can see, uh, the ciphertext size uh, does not uh, decrease uh, because we pay the price of sending several syndromes, but the public key size is drastically uh, reduced. And uh, we were also able with our idea to suggest a set of parameters without the use of an ideal structure uh, and it leads to this set of very competitive parameters with, an, with a negligible decoding failure rate. So if we compare to other existing uh, key encapsulation mechanism, uh, we can say that for the category of unstructured post-quantum uh, CAMs, uh, we outperform all existing uh, attempts um, and uh, we can underline that compared to uh, the NIST uh, finalist, alternate finalist uh, Frodo Chem, we are uh, about three times better uh, than this lattice-based unstructured candidate. And in the category, in the table below of uh, structured code-based uh, CAMs, uh, we are slightly better than existing uh, CAMs in code-based uh, structured cryptography. Uh, and uh, when we compare to lattices, uh, structured lattices, we are a bit uh, less efficient, unfortunately. So our approach of sending multiple syndromes is uh, really specific to the rank metric. Uh, because in Hamming metric, uh, this approach would be less efficient because you can send less syndromes before uh, being vulnerable to an attack. Uh, in the case of uh, several syndromes with the same uh, support. And also uh, our approach is also very specific because uh, the decoding algorithms of LRPC 
uh, takes advantages uh, of uh, multiple syndromes because it has a specific structure. And finally, we give uh, in our papers a proof that our crypto system is indistinguishable under the chosen uh, plain text attack. Uh, if we assume the difficulty of uh, the two following problems, so the first one is the indistinguishability between systematic uh, LRPC parity check matrix and a random matrix, uh, which is uh, which, which comes from the fact that we are using a mask a masked uh, crypto system. And the second uh, problem is the wrong support learning problem, which is a slight uh, variant of the wrong syndrome decoding problem with an additional parameter L, uh, which is a number of syndromes with the same error support. So this uh, RSL problem was introduced in the crypto paper of uh, 2017 five years ago and since then uh, it has been uh, studied with uh, several papers uh, and several attacks and we've taken into account in our paper uh, the most recent attacks on the RSL problem. To conclude I will say that we presented a new rank metric based uh, crypto system with uh, competitive parameters and no idea structure, which gives uh, an additional uh, guarantee of security. Um, we give the proof of uh, a low decoding failure rate uh, on our uh, on our algorithm, uh, which is based. The proof is based on the probabilistic result of on the support of two random matrices. And um, we can, for future work, uh, have an additional idea to reduce the parameters even further. And we can generalize to other rank based crypto systems, such as uh, R2C, for example. And uh, this was presented, uh, as I said previously, in a recent uh, archive uh, paper. I would like to thank you all for uh, watching this video and I will be happy to take uh, questions during the live conference. Thank you.